Hello everyone, welcome back to Microcare Academy. In today's video, we are diving into the world of C Shop programming. If you have ever been curious about different types of classes in C Shop, you are in the right place. Whether you are just starting your coding journey or looking to expand your knowledge, understanding the various class types is a crucial step. In this video, I will sharing real time examples and quick tips that are tailor made for interviews. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. In C Shop, a class is a fundamental building block of object oriented programming. It serves as a blueprint or template for creating objects. It specifies the properties and methods that the objects of that class will possess. Objects created from the same class share the same structure but may have different data. The static keyword in C Shop language is used to declare static classes and static class members. In C Shop, when we declare a class as static, we cannot create objects of the class. In this example, we have a static class called logger, which contains a static methods log info, log warning, and log error. These logging methods are responsible for logging messages with timestamps. Let's see an example. The product service class represents some functionality related to managing product. When the new product is added, we call the add product method and within that method, we log the event using logger.loginfo method. When the product gets updated, we call the update product method and within that method, we log the event using logger.logwarning method. The advantage of using a static class for logging is that we don't need to create an instance of logger class every time we want to log a message. We can directly access the logging methods through the static class. A static class cannot be instantiated. All its members must be accessible through the class itself without need and instance of the class. A static class can only contain static members. Static members include static methods, static properties, and static fields. The abstract keyword in C Shop language is used to declare abstract classes and abstract methods. In C Shop, we cannot create objects of an abstract class. We have an abstract class product which serves as a base class for different types of products. It defines common properties like name and price as well as abstract method display. We have two derived classes, electronic product and furniture product representing specific type of products. Each of these classes inherits from the abstract class product and provides its own implementation of display method. Override indicates the method in derived class is overriding the method from the base class. We are creating an instance of electronic product class using new keyword. We are also initializing its properties name, price, and brand using an object initializer.
Similarly, create an instance of furniture product class and initialize its properties, name, price, and material. This demonstrates the curation of instances of different product types. The specific implementation of display method in each derived class allows for customized output for each product type. We cannot create object of an abstract class. An abstract class can have both abstract methods, that is method without body, and non-abstract methods, that is methods with body. Unlike the C shop inheritance, we cannot use virtual with abstract methods of the base class. This is because an abstract class is implicitly virtual. We can use abstract class only as a base class. This is why abstract class cannot be sealed. In C shop, when we don't want a class to be inherited by another class, we can declare the class as a sealed class. A sealed class cannot have a derived class. The sealed keyword is used to create a sealed class. We use sealed classes to prevent inheritance. As we cannot inherit from a sealed class, the methods in the sealed class cannot be manipulated from other classes. It helps us to prevent security issues. Partial classes in C Shop allows you to split the definition of a class into multiple source code files. Each part of the class is defined in a separate file but at compile time, all parts are combined into a single class. The partial keyword is used to create a partial class. Partial classes are particularly useful in cases where a class is auto-generated and you want to add custom behavior to the class without modifying the generated code. It also helps in organizing code and promoting the separation of concern. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, like and subscribe.